Hello and welcome to yet another fully funded scholarship opportunity. If studying in Europe for your masters is one of your dreams, then it can come true with today's opportunity because today we are going to be looking at a fully funded scholarship called the Erasmus Mundus Masters Scholarship. This is a scholarship which enables you study in three to four different countries in Europe. With this scholarship, you will spend a semester or two in a different country. All nationalities can apply to this scholarship. It does not require a work experience, no age limit, no CGPA limit, no need for you to contact a supervisor before applying to this scholarship. The application period for this scholarship is usually between October to January. IETS or TOEFL is mandatory for some courses why it's also not mandatory for some other courses. So it will be important for you to go through and see if IETS is mandatory for your particular course. Application for this scholarship is quite straightforward and it is done on the official website for each of the course called the consortium. You will not have to send your application to three different universities but just to the consortium. We will take a look at how to apply in course of this video. In this video, we are basically going to look at the benefit of this scholarship, the documents required, how to search for a course, and also how to apply for this scholarship. So without any further delay, let's get into it. So right here, you can see the fully funded Erasmus Mundus scholarship. It is quite a prestigious scholarship and we're just going to go through it and make sure you understand what is involved in this scholarship. So first, we want to take a look at the benefits of this scholarship. And right here, you can see there are a lot of benefits, but um, we just take a look at what we have here. So you're going to receive a monthly stipend of, um, of about 1,100 um, to 1,200. I know of a course that pays um, 1,400 euro per month. Um, you also do not have to pay tuition fee. You also get your flight ticket covered. Um, that is the international airfare ticket. And you also get your transport allowance from one country to the other. That is a traveling allowance. And also there are no bonds for you to return to your home country. And you also get about 18 months after your studies to search for a job or to continue with a PhD. So there are a lot of feeds available for this scholarship. Basically all feeds are available and you can see what we have right here and there are a lot more. If you cannot find your feed right here, it doesn't mean that um, you shouldn't check or search for a particular course that is related to your feed. So right here, you can see the different um, countries that you can choose from um, to study in while in Europe. So there are a lot of countries and um, while applying for this course, you can basically select the countries that um, you want to study. Now let's take a look at the documents that are required for this scholarship. The basic documents that most scholarship would require is what is still required in this scholarship. You need a letter of motivation that is quite important and you can check out my video on uh, how to write a award winning letter of motivation that can also guide you to write um, a very good letter of motivation. And also make sure to um, sign up on Grammarly which is a free tool that can help you avoid grammar errors while writing your letter of motivation. And it can also help you structure your letter of motivation so that you tell a very good story. So check out the first link in the description. You're going to sign up on that and then you can use Grammarly for free um, to structure your letter of motivation. So the second document right here is your um, passport, your international passport or your national ID. And um, it is quite important that you have your international passport. It is one of the documents um, you need when you want to apply for any scholarship or admission. And you need your CV um, for this. They usually prefer the Europass format and a maximum of three pages. Uh, if you find it difficult to get the Europass format, you can check out my Telegram channel. The link is also in the description. Um, I have also pinned um, in the Europass format. You can easily download that format and then edit what you have in that CV. And that is the Europass format that you need. And also you need a letter of recommendation um, from lecturers or those who have taught you, some professors. And yeah, depending on what the particular course needs. And um, you need your degree certificate as well as your transcript. 
you also need to prove that you can speak english because the courses are going to be taught in english so this can be done depending on the course there are some courses that would allow you um prove your english proficiency by a letter from your previous university some of them will require that you write IELTS or TOEFL. Um, some of them would accept a letter of proficiency from your institution if um, your previous study was done in English and if you um, come from one of the eligible countries. So there are a lot of um, myths about this. Just make sure you do the right thing. And if you need IELTS, um, you still have a lot of time to sit in for IELTS because application usually starts for this scholarship in October. So you can quickly um, write IELTS, but make sure to check if um, you do not require first, so you can already submit your application with that um, IELTS. Now let's talk about how to apply to this scholarship. It is quite straightforward. You don't need to submit um, applications to the universities that you're interested in. So what you need to do first is to select a course um, you are interested in. Thereafter, you go to the website of that course, which is called uh, the um, consortium and there you apply for this scholarship so we are going to look at that right now but because it is not opened uh, we might not be able to do a lot but once this um, scholarship is open i'm going to do a new video and guide you step by step to apply to this scholarship so once you come through the link i'm going to drop a link to this page opnessniger.com in, in the description so once you are here um, you can read through and then thereafter you can come to this link right here how to apply and this will take you to the official website i'm going to click on it right now it takes you to the official website of the erasmus mundus so right here you also want to go through and make sure you read through and understand what the scholarship is talking about that will also help you to write a good letter of motivation and um, it is not quite um, enough to just take the information you get from me or from this channel um, it is also very important that you read through these um, lines and try to understand what is being said. And you can see right here, the scholarship is available to everyone uh, all over the world and uh, they can apply. And right here, you can also see that the scholarship is submitted between October to January for courses starting the following academic year. So right here, you can see um, the catalog of courses for the Erasmus Moodles. Um, this is where you can select a course and apply to this scholarship. So um, right here, there are a lot of courses. You can see it says 1 to 20, um, training results for 1 to 20. So there are a lot of courses right here. And um, right on this page, also, you can see the countries that you can choose from if you want to study this particular course. So um, the countries differ um, from course to course, like this course has a lot of countries you can select from and you can choose where you want to spend your first semester, where you want to sp spend your second semester and so on. So um, if you uh, find a course that you are interested in, you can go ahead to click on the website um, showing just below the course or you can first of all click on the course itself and that would um, show you some further information and then you can then go to the website to apply to the course so you can also use the search button right here there's also a search filter right here where you can search for a particular course um, if i'm interested in um, environmental modeling i can search for environmental modeling i can also decide to choose the countries that i want to study in i can use that as a search and I can also use decide to search with universities, the university that I am interested in. I can also search with that. Um, then you can I can also search with the field of study and also the year of project selection. But for now, I'm just going to search with um, just the keyword right here. And um, when you click on the search button, it's going to reload and you can come down to see, okay, this is a course that relates to what I want to do. And these are the countries that I want to study in. Um, okay, so what I want to do is to click on the title of the course right here or the website. So I've clicked on the title. It takes me to this new page where I can read more about this course, see what is involved and yeah, get a good grip of what it is all about. And thereafter, I can click on the website of this course, then go to the website because that is where you are going to be submitting your application. 
So I'm going to go to the website by clicking on it. And right here, you can see um, some information about the course. But oops, right here, you can also see um, application are closed for 2022 intake. The database will be open again for um, the 2023 intake around October. So um, it's going to open by October. So you have some few months to quickly put up your, um, your documents together and prepare to apply for this scholarship. So it's a fully funded scholarship, covers everything you need and yeah. So why not give this video a thumbs up if you've gotten any information so far because there are a lot of information still yet to come and um, subscribe if you're not subscribed and share this video to your friends and your family. So right on this page, um, it's going to be similar for the for different courses. It's going to be similar so you can um, just read through the website, see what you can get. But if the scholarship was open, there's going to be a button right here which says apply now. Then you can click on that button and um, fill in the application form online, submit all the necessary documents. And yeah, that is it. And um, yeah, you can also check for other things. For example, um, we can see frequently asked questions. We can see admission and eligibility. So you can check the eligibility um, for this particular course. And uh, for now, I'm just going to click on frequently asked questions. Let's see what we can get from here. So let's see what if we can get more useful information for this particular course. And um, yeah, you can see um, is there is there any age limit? So there's no age limit. The answer is no right here. And um, work experience considered vital for selection. So you can see they are definitely not vital, but can be useful. So there are no work experience. And this can differ from course to course, you know. And here is another important question. Do I need proficiency test in English? So let's see the answer for this. The answer is yes. If your country is not on the list of exempted countries. So in this particular case, there's a list of exempted countries for this particular course. Um, if your country is not part of this list, then you need a uh, English test. So let's see the exempted countries for this particular course. This is not general, but just for this particular course. And these are the countries right here. Um, there are a lot of countries anyway, and I can see African countries, Gambia, Ghana. Um, is there Nigeria? Okay, right here, there's Nigeria. So if you are a Nigerian applying to this particular course, or a Ghanaian, or from South Africa, Sierra Leone, you do not need English test so um that is quite nice so you can see there are a lot of questions already asked and answered upon arrival a lot of information that you can already get from this single um frequently asked questions so always go through the frequently asked questions if you find them um on the page whatever you are applying to scholarship or admission it can really guide you so yeah that is basically it for this video and um like I said, if the scholarship was open, you are going to find the application button here. Apply now, then you can click on it, register, submit all the applications and uh, all the necessary documents, fill out the necessary forms online and click on the submit button. So once you have done that, you have applied to the Erasmus Modus scholarship. The important thing is that you have all the documents. I know it can be quite challenging to get all the documents. That is why I decided to drop this video right now when the scholarship is still closed so that you can take the time to um, get all the documents and prepare to apply for this prestigious scholarship. I have talked about the Erasmus Modus scholarship in the past. So if you still want to know more, you can click on the video showing right now on your screen and watch um, more about the Erasmus Modus Scholarship. Or you can check out a video on the right for verified job agencies which are currently recruiting care assistant in the UK. So if you're interested in the UK, you want to work in the UK as a caregiver, you can check out the video on the right which will guide you on how to submit your applications for that job. And these agencies also help you with visa sponsorship. So you can check that out also.